Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Before we start, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and as well as that, comment down below, I subscribed, and you'll be entered in our monthly shoutout giveaway. All seen the intimidating panel on BBC's Dragon's Den, sat behind piles of cash and rigorously quizzing entrepreneurs about their proposals. But how much do we know about these high-flying investors? What is their individual expertise? How do they acquire their fortunes? And what businesses do they themselves start up? The richest dragon has a staggering fortune of $320 million, according to the 2010 Sunday Times Rich List. As well as being a famous entrepreneur, Duncan Ballantin is also a philanthropist and best-selling author. His investments are chiefly in health clubs, hotels, TV property, and transports. At the age of 15, Duncan joined the Royal Navy and by 19, he had been discharged due to dishonorable conduct and spent 18 months in a military detention center. In his early 20s, he lived in Jersey and moved between jobs. At 20, he moved to Stockton on trees and spent $450 in an ice cream van, gradually expanding his business until he sold it for $28,000. He then went on to build a nursing homes business, which he sold for $26 million in 1996. Building on his early successes, Duncan set up a chain of health clubs under his own name, which have since expanded now being the largest chain of health clubs in the UK. Duncan was awarded an OBE in 2004 in recognition of his charity work. He has spent more than $80,000 over several projects in Romania, including funding for a hospice looking after orphans with HIV and AIDS. In 2008, he gave $1 million and established his own charitable foundation. It's a fantastic product. You're going to make a fortune. Or I can be kind and say it's a complete and utter waste of time. The package just attaches itself to the wheel. No, no, we do it ourselves. So initially, so you do it yourself. Yes. So, you do, so there is a labor cost. Workers. OK, what do you think the value of your office space is? What rent can you get for your office space? Okay. That is a disaster. It's not a disaster. It does work. We've seen it working for, for the last two years. It doesn't really matter, does it? You stuck it 10%. Yeah. So you wouldn't take £50,000 for 11%. The Dragon Peter Jones is an entrepreneur and businessman worth $250 million. His investments span across a wide range of markets, including television, telephones, food products, the environment, and product design, and more than 1,000 people are employed in his companies. Jones completed his school career with A-levels in biology, geography, and economics. Although he was bright at school, he turned down the opportunity of going to university in favor of pursuing his entrepreneurial ambition. He had set up his own tennis academy by the age of 16, and in his 20s launched a computer business and cocktail bar in Windsor. Yet, Peter's career was not a smooth ride. During his 20s, his computer business collapsed and at 28 he was broke, without a car or house and living with his parents. He then joined Siemens Nixdorf and became the head of the PC business in the UK. Within 12 months, he had set up his own Phones International Group, which brought him huge success with annual revenue, starting at $44 million by 2000. From 2000 onwards, Peter set up an increasing number of investments in a number of wide-ranging industries. In 2005, he began starring on Dragon's Den and has invested in several entrepreneurs from Nero Taka, a clothing brand, to Reggae Reggae, the much-loved Jamaican cooking sauce. In 2009, he was appointed Commander of the Order of the British Empire in the New York Honors. With an estimated worth of $116 million, Theo Paptis comes in third out of the Dragons fortune-wise. His most famous businesses include Ryman's, La Zenza, Red Letter Store, and Smarta. Theopaptis was born in Cyprus and moved to England at the age of six. He began his career at 16 as a T-boy slash filing clerk at Lloyd's of London. He then went into retail at 18 and moved into finance at 20, setting up his own company at the age of 23. He bought a series of companies and built them into famous and profitable retail businesses. 
He spent eight years as chairman of Millwall FC, taking the club out of administration, into the championship, and go on to the FA Cup final. He was also a director of the Football League and an FA counselor. With that said, this will bring us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, once again, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and as well as that, comment down below saying I subscribed, and again, you'll be entered in our monthly shoutout giveaway. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys on the next video.